What is a C-section? When, pa when patients come to you, what is a C-section? What, what do they want to know? So I think that uh, uh, the main issue of what is a cesarean section is it's a kind of delivery. Mm -hmm. When you have your baby, there's really only two options, either a vaginal delivery or a cesarean section, which is an operative form of delivery where we're removing the baby through the abdomen. Now, what are some of the early signs that labor is nearing? I usually like to tell my patients that there are some things that they can anticipate as they get close to the due date. Uh, they're going to feel a lot of pressure in the pelvis. Uh, they may start to feel contractions, which are uh, tightening of the abdominal muscles around the uterus. Uh, they may start to see a little bit more of a discharge. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the symptoms that they're going to start to see. Sometimes the baby may move a little less vigorously, although they should still feel the baby move every day. Right. And I always see in the movies people go to the hospital too early for delivery and sometimes even go too late, which is a little scary. So at which point should a patient call their doctor and head to the hospital? I usually tell my patients that there are three things that they're looking for when they need to decide to go to the hospital. Number one is if they break their water. Okay. Usually it's pretty obvious. A big gush of fluid comes out, then you know it's time to start heading to the hospital. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's not so clear, maybe more of a leakage, and if it's persistent, then I think it's better safe than sorry to be evaluated. But sometimes a patient's water doesn't even break. Sometimes it doesn't. So the second thing is contractions. Mm -hmm. So when the contractions are strong, regular, they're getting closer together, they're getting more uncomfortable, and they don't go away after some rest or fluids right. or shower, um, that's the time to get evaluated for labor. And then the third thing is if you're really not feeling the baby move. Right. So, you know, like I said, you can see a little bit uh, of a decrease in how vigorous the baby moves, but if they're not feeling the baby move all day and the different things that tend to make the baby move uh, aren't working, it's time to call your doctor and get checked out.